Welcome back to Night of the Dead. It is wave 101. And there's a hot fix, an update that apparently I'm hearing is supposed to have done something to the zombie pathing and the number of zombies. So I thought, you know what? <clears throat> if that's the case, I wouldn't mind more zombies. So I thought, what the heck? Oops. Let's see if it really does give more zombies. So And let's see. Now I had to take some of the lights down here so that we could see. Oh yeah, I raised that side. <clears throat> so now we have the boss killer stairs. Boss killer here. This is all still the same with the flamethrower. And then boss killer, cutter, boss killer, cutter, boss killer, cutter, boss, boss, boss killer. So yeah. Oh, and I put in some columns there and there to force them down the middle because part of the pathing issue solution hot fix was oh yeah I put flame in there too just for the heck of it so part of the hot fix was to Increase the zombie's ability to go down small paths. So and I want to try and funnel them down through this section here. They do seem to be passing a little bit better. Remember how they were all running all over the place in there? Well, they are definitely passing straight to the front. Oh, and I put walls in down in here to stop them from being able to where that one jerked out the other night. So again, they really seem to be making a path straight down here, which Didn't really want to do that. There, that one's in a good position.
Always well if we come over and take a look. I started the idea of building the next return loop and flamethrower. I had planned on starting my uh, survivalist uh, playthrough. However, After working 12 hours today, I really wasn't feeling up to starting something new. So, with the advent of the uh, update, I thought, you know what? Hearing about that, I would come in and uh, to this world, try some of the stuff. Yeah, oh, that exploder is going pretty good over there. So again, I do think that the, uh, the bosses did take on a little bit more food. See how far back that flame's reaching? That's hilarious. The only ones that seem to be actually getting through it all are the... Uh, Are the flamethrowers? Are the flamethrowers? The exploders. The other bosses take so much damage going through here. I wanted to come back and just see how far back that shooting. That boss killer at the end is probably getting a little bit low. So let's go and load it up. So here's a butcher getting down fairly good way. And again, the butcher didn't reach the Oh, how did you get behind there? Look at how far back that flame goes. I'd better be careful if I'm going back there to uh, repair those traps.
I think I'm gonna have to take a look. Are these getting damaged? They are. <laughs> that that was uh, not something I was really thinking about. Okay, that's a, oh, that's a zero. I have to watch that because yeah, when they're getting held up in the. Uh, I didn't put the guillotines in there. Uh oh. That's what I get for doing things in a hurry. So I'm not even using the. Can I put the guillotines in there? Probably could if I had the. Uh, Just make sure everything's loaded up. Well, it's two o'clock. What do I need for guillotine? Okay. Uh, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that. Okay, I can build my guillotine. That sounds like bosses now. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm fighting now. Okay. I'm not going to be able to load anything in. So something is constantly damaging that. Cut her down. Cut her down, right there. Oh, now it decides to work right at the end. On the last guy. Okay. So that did seem to be a, I mean, a little bit more intense. Um, I was wondering why they were getting by so easy up here, and then it's like, oh, Mbaka, I did not load, put guillotines in. I mean, that one went off, that went off. I think some of these went off just simply because...
Yeah, that one never went off. I need to figure out a way I can, ah, uh, I just figured out a way to be able to actually get in here to load these up. I need to put, okay, figure that out. Just need to, some late stragglers. Um, well, some late stragglers. Looks like this is a whole other, whole other way. So that was interesting, that they basically added what seems to be, oh darn it. Going up isn't what I need. If I put a wall right there, I can build a bridge that way one and a bridge that way one, which means if I take this down, I can actually go onto the bridge in between all of those and reload those. So that would be a much better much better solution to that issue. The music is still going. Music is still going. Hmm. So here's what I mean. If I put a bridge here, sorry, a wall here, it doesn't really matter what type of wall. Okay, I need some bricks. little small guys coming late. Two rebar, three iron plate. I should know that. I've done it enough times.
think the music has finally stopped. has stopped. Wow! That was a long wave night. Is that the way they're going to be now after 100? Anybody heard anything on these? Like is it didn't look like that's what the the hot fix was supposed to be doing, but wow. So that looks like a pretty good kill area. So yeah, so if I come back in here. I don't really need these now. wasn't thinking about it properly in terms of the idea of needing to be able to load these up. Yeah, I won't be able to get that one, but I'm not that concerned about it. Can I put the bridge from here? Yeah. So there's that one. And then if I turn it like so, now I can get in and get to all of these and repair them. Perfect. Repair and reload, because if I can't reload them, there's no use having them, really. So I think one of them fell out down in there. I bet you if we go down and take a look, because the flamethrower looked like it was pointing way down. So that is a bad side effect of the flamethrower being higher. If it was lower, it wouldn't have actually affected that at all. Okay, well, do I have what I need to make two guillotines? Let's take a look. I do. I have 18 traps. I don't know how the heck I got so many traps, but I did put guillotines in there, yes. Yeah. So just by not having the guillotine here, it made a huge difference to The zombies being able to get through this area. It 
So again, um, I think the entryway went pretty good. I think I definitely need to build the other return loop over there with the additional flamethrower. So there will be another flamethrower over in that section as well. Well, one did make it to here. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely think they have beefed up. The hit points and power of the zombies. Okay. That's going to leave a mark. Didn't do that quite right. Okay. Let's see what we've got in here. A ridiculous amount of loot bags. doesn't seem like the zombies can get through there. Which is good because it forces them down this middle section. And of course my inventory is full. Okay. Well, that is wave 101. Whoa! So, um, Something was looking for damage, wasn't it? Okay. So thank you for watching, uh, thank you for subscribing, thank you for the likes and comments, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try 102, and I'm going to look at adding that extra path in over there. Um, I still am going to uh, be doing um, the survivalist series but like I said it was an awful long day at work today and I just didn't have the energy to go into starting a new world um, I will do that this weekend so have a good evening a good day a good night uh, whatever time you're watching this where you are and I will see you for 102 and the next series cheers <laughs>